guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Margarita and if you're not new, hi, hello and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, you're going to want to grab a drink and a snack. Mm. So for today's video, I am filming a review. So it's going to take a while. That's what I'm saying. Grab a snack and grab a drink. I am going to be reviewing the Urban Decay Born to Run. All right, so let's open her up. Mm. You open this up right here. It's a little dirty just because I kept on opening it up and like looking at it and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to use it. This right here is actually a purse and inside of it dun, 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 comes with makeup. And it also comes with this right here, which you pretty much like do this and this and then like it's a this, it's a purse. In this vault, you get an eyeshadow palette, you get a setting spray, a eye pencil, which is like an eyeliner, um, a, what is this called? Eyeshadow primer, a mascara, and a lipstick. So I am gonna be swatching all of this right here and I'm gonna go ahead and put like a timestamp of when like I actually do the makeup. So timestamp's gonna be right here, so. I already have this. It's actually a really good eyeshadow primer. The next thing is the eyeliner, which is a 24 seven glide on eye pencil and it's called Provision. And then that's what it looks like. It's so tiny, oh my God. I'm probably gonna have to sharpen it. Ooh, so creamy and smooth, but I just like ended up <laughs> ripping the tip off. Oh man, snack break. So the next thing is, is the mascara. Now mascaras are a hit or miss for me. This one is the Provision Bigger Blacker Batter Mascara. And this is what it looks like. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of wands that are that big, but we gotta try it. We gotta review it and see if it works. All right, so the next one is this lipstick right here. This is the Comfort Matte. That is exactly what it's called. Ooh, so pretty. So this is what it looks like. Oh, I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch. You know, some things just never change. I ran out of storage, so I don't know if you guys saw my reaction to this, but it was really pretty. Here's like an, a replay of what it would have been. Oh no, it's so pretty. But it was a little better than that. And then the next thing is the setting spray. So this is the All Nighter Long Lasting Setting Spray. Put it on right now. Ooh, very misty. And then we have the eyeshadow palette. Did I swatch that already? I don't remember swatching that. Oh yeah, I must have swatched this one, this one, and this one, and that one. <laughs> I don't remember swatching it, but I must have swatched it. And this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. It's really cute. It's really pretty. It's got like pops of color and then it's got neutral. So so far, it looks like a good palette. So it's a one, two, three, five, six, seven. It's a 21 eyeshadow pan palette, and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them. So if you don't wanna watch me swatch them, the timestamp is right here. Before we go into the swatching, we must have a, a nettish neck break. Oh, this one's the second one. Aww, I'm gonna do the thingy. Mm, but this one's the jalapeno one I'm actually eating. I might make more or I'll just have cheesecake. I don't know. So we're going to go ahead and swatch the first row right there. Starting off the first shade, it is called Break. Ooh, I almost broke it. That's what happened. It's called Break Away. So here is Break Away. Wait, is this a matte or a shimmer? Which one? Because regardless, it showed up. <laughs> That's Break Away. Then we have Stranded. Ooh, Stranded is a gold metallic. Next shade is Blaze. Next one is called Weekender. This is the shade Weekender and it's actually on me already right here. And this is like the third time putting it on, but it's like almost the same color for my skin tone. So that's actually gonna be a good transition shade. The next shade is called Still Shot. Just remember swatches don't do justice. You gotta blend, you know? Next shade is called Riff Brown. I was about to say a purple. Wow, it doesn't look that dark. But it's still cute though. Last shade called Good As Gone. Oh, wow. That is a dark color. <sighs> that almost looks black, but it's brown. Like to me, it looks like 
brown but then to you it looks like like a normal brown here are the first seven shades in the row all right on to the second row so right here we have hell ride Ooh, that is so pretty next shade is called hell ride that was a weird swatch <laughs> okay pretty cute can you give me a slice of cheesecake please next shade is called accelerate the next shade is called guilt trip it's like a metallic purple. Oh wow, it looks brown. Purple. <gasps> hi, baby. Minnie wanted to say hi. She's so big. Say hi. Okay, bye. Next shade is called Ignite. Ooh, coppery orange. Okay. Next shade is called Smog. It's like a brown gold. Bronze? Duh. Yay, just in time for the snack break. And here is Wanderlust. Here are the shades for the second row. And now for a snack break. Mm. Cheesecake Factory cheesecake. All right, onto the final row. This is Wild Heart. It's like a pinky shade, pinky purple. Ooh, it's like a magenta. Oh, that's so pretty. Next shade is called Punk. Ooh, this one feels more like chalky slash like matte, like a matte chalky. Ooh, look at how pretty it is. Next shade is called Double Life. That's actually a pretty combo right there. We're heading into the black shadows. This shade is called Jet. Oh wow, it looks gray. Let's see, Jet. Yeah, black shadows, I love them and I hate them. Like it's, it will either ruin my look or make my look. Eight times out of 10, it ruins it. Next shade is Drift. I feel like I have to do something now with the black and then with this. Ah, it's gonna be like intense smoky eye. Even though I don't know how to smoky eye. Kind of, maybe. Next shade is called Radio. That is very pretty. And then the last shade is called Big Sky. Mmm, that is such a pretty teal. All right, here are the last seven shades. All right, if you're here because you didn't want to watch the eyeshadows, <clears throat> you missed out on snack breaks. So we're here doing eyeshadow makeup. The first thing that we're doing is priming our eyelids. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this dry down. I don't want it to crease, so I'm closing my eyes. Okay, so I do wanna match my lipstick, so I am gonna go with shades in the palette to specifically match the lipstick so it like doesn't clash. So I'm gonna take the shade Weekender right here and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. And I'm just using a fluffy brush from Benefit, no, not Benefit, <laughs> BH Cosmetics. This is brush six. Ooh, ooh, and I'm literally just gonna go where my crease is at. This is actually a really pretty color considering it didn't wanna show up on my skin. Like I said, swatches are different from actually applying on the eyelid. I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade right here which is called Still Shot. And I'm using a ColourPop brush, this is the E9. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just start circling on the outer corner. So what snacks are you guys eating? Have you guys been eating any snacks? If you're eating any snacks, comment down below. And um, I wanna I wanna try them. Let me, let me try the snacks you're eating. The snack I was eating, besides the cheesecake one, that one was really good. Um, I had seen this TikTok. If I can find it, like if I can find her name, I will definitely like tag her in the description or like somewhere right here or put the video like her page right here, Korean corn dogs, I believe that's what it's called. I've been like wanting to try it. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, like, let me try it. So I basically just bought like, what was it? Cheese sticks and the Paco, Paco, I forgot what it's called. I kind of want to do like a little cooking with me and then like my makeup should be like inspired by what I cook. So it is looking a little rough on the edges. Oh, so I'm just taking the same brush and dipping it into Weekender and I'm just gonna go ahead and just like diffuse it. And now I just wanna add a little bit more color and I'm taking this shade Baca right here and I'm actually just gonna like dip it, dip it like on the edge. 
edge right here in the corner out of corner of my eye and i'm taking the moda pro brush and this is the bmx 430 crease brush look at me being all beauty guru saying brushes i'm literally just gonna be tapping it just right here and then just a little blend and tap tap and blend i actually like it better blend and top. Hmm. I don't know if I want to go with Ignite or is this one a celery? So this one's a celery and Ignite. I think I'm gonna do a celery. No, Ignite. It's Ignite. I'm going with Ignite. Ooh, or smog. No. Ooh, or stranded. That's stranded. Oh, it would be like a gold on the I'm gonna do stranded. Ooh, or blaze. No, stranded. We're going with stranded. It's this gold shade right here. And I'm just gonna put it on my olive right here. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. Oh, you know what? Let's be extra. Let's grab a little bit of Ignite right here. And we're just going to put it pretty much right next to it right here. And just kind of blend it together. Oh, yes. Look at that. So then it makes it like a copper in the middle. But then you also want to blend it together. Just so it's not like that really weird like right in the middle of your eyelid. Like why would you want that? I mean, if you like that, then that's all good. This is Blaze right here. And I'm just popping it in the orange in the corner <laughs> in the corner of my eye just to give it that pop here's that make or break it thing i'm gonna take the color jet and i'm just using a angle brush this is the precise oh it's called the precise eyeliner brush from essence and i'm just taking the shade jet and i am going to pretty much put it on my my lash line just to give it like give my eyelashes more of like a fuller look to it when i do apply the mascara you can actually see the difference between right here and right there. Here's the black eyeshadow and then here's no eyeshadow. You're going to see the difference with the mascara. So I should actually apply some mascara just so you can see it. You know, I'm being a little bold today. Let's just kind of wing it out. This is why I don't do black eyeshadow. I don't know. You had to be bold today. I'm gonna try to erase it because I don't like it. Okay, this is why we review makeup to see if you like it or not. And for me, I did not like to do the winged eyeshadow. Like I said, that is a very hit or miss for me. I'm gonna apply mascara on the side that I have eyeshadow on just so you can see what it's like for like the fullness. And I'm just gonna go ahead and mascara my eyelashes. Lash up on my mascara. Is there like not a saying for like like you know how like I'm gonna wing out my eyeliner? What is it for mascara? This is gonna take forever, so yeah, you're not gonna watch me do the whole process on my eyelashes. Unless you want to, that could be another video. Okay, so I did apply mascara on like I don't I don't know if you can see it, but to tell you my opinion, <laughs> it is very watery, but yeah, you can see the difference. I mean it's not, I don't know, it's not as black. It's not as black as the other mascaras I've used and that they're drugstore. I have not applied a second coat, so that could be it too. I am gonna apply the eyeliner on my waterline. This eyeliner 1010 would recommend glides on effortlessly, super pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this eye off camera as well as this one and we'll be back for the lips. Okay, so I am done with my eyes. You can see my eyelashes. I know I can see this one a lot better. I mean, I can see that one too. The mascara is really pretty, but why pay so much money for it to work on the fifth coat? Yes, the fifth coat. This is the third coat of mascara on this eye. And it doesn't even look that good, which is really crazy. And then this only has two coats of mascara. If you want to get it, be my guest. I mean, obviously, I'm going to keep testing it out. I'm still going to be wearing it because it's mascara. Like, a girl needs her mascara for her eyelashes. Um, My eyelashes are really long. Oh, my gosh. I guess that's what happens when you... Don't really wear as much mascara anymore. Wow, what the heck? Are my eyelashes really that long? Very interesting. They look so pretty. Oh my god. For the first time in forever. For the first time. Disney's gonna be like, copyright. <laughs> okay, so now we're going in with lips. But before that, we have to line our chola lips. Yes. 
Okay, I'm, I'm using the LA Girl Lip Liner in Blushing. And I'm just gonna line my lips. I think lining your lips just makes it look so much better and it's just more like precise. Oops. No, I guess we're going Kylie Jenner today. Lip injections who? It's more like lip liner. Okay, and then now we just apply. Oh, wow, that lip liner was like the exact match. This is so pretty. For anyone that doesn't know, I am lactose intolerant and I had two cheese sticks and a cheese cake. So, yeah, this is not going to be a fun night because I already feel my stomach doing the... But look, look how cute this is. I think I could have done a different look, like different eyeshadow look because I kind of forgot how pinky it is but honestly it's not that bad it's a look it's cute i'm cute she cute we cute you and i cute we're eating snacks mm -hmm. mm. i'm sorry this is how you're supposed to eat with lipstick on oh I have cheesecake all over my thighs, my spandex, the floor. This is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it, enjoyed my review. Let me know how it looks. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below. Also, don't forget to tell me what snack you've been eating. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Now we're going in with lips and before... Oh. That noise you just heard, Minnie dug her claw into my knee. Oh my gosh, I love this cheesecake so much.